sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys, My Hero Academia, All Might, or All Might Doll. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So we do get this pretty cool collector friendly style box for this All Might here. So we do get the window right there on the front of the box on the top to say My Hero Academia. We do get an image of All Might on the bottom says All Might ages 12 and up. And then the bottom of the box here we do get the barcode and blah 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 stuff and how much they charged me at GameStop. Then here is the top of the box with some images of the characters from My Hero. The one side here and the other side and then the back of the box to show the other characters in Wave 1 along with the character you have here as well but anyway that is the packaging let's get this figure up to take a closer look at the number one hero from my hero academia which is all my toe no righty take it a closer detailed look and mcfarland really impressed me with this all might here the main issue i do have with these uh mcfarland my hero figures is some of the paint is a bit sloppy in certain spots and the paint rubs very easily so that is to me the biggest issue with these figures that that I found so far but the uh, the sculpt detail I think turned out great the head sculpt looks just like all might really dig the way that turned out and the paint it's alright like I said it's it's definitely not perfect and you have to be very careful when articulating the figure as you can see the paint rubbing off in certain spots around the uh, the thighs and on the shoulders and everything around the elbow joints so uh, the, pa the paint definitely could be a little bit better, but I love the way the hair looks. It's like a softer, rubbery type plastic. We get uh, a couple different shades in there, as you can see, and the sculpt of it turned out really nice, too. I like these extra pieces hanging out right there. We do get the big All Might smile right there, which turned out nice, and I believe his eyes are all black. I don't know if the red is in there. I don't see the red. I think they're all black. Uh, but the paint on the face is pretty clean. You can see a bit of the skin tone bleeding on to where the uh, the skin tone meets the hair right there over here on this side it looks a little bit better though and then for the torso here the paint for the white and the red turned out really nice we get some very nice sculpt detail throughout the muscle definition and everything and then on the back the uh, the paint turned out really nice on the back as well you can see they, they added I guess the white paint didn't fully go on right here, so they added more on it, and it looks like there's, it's more white compared to the rest of the white line there. It looks like they missed some red paint around here, so the paint definitely uh, could be much better. The arms here, nice uh, sculpt detail. The paint's pretty good on these pieces, but as you can see, we do get paint rubs, so you do have to be very cautious when articulating the figure there, and he has huge traps uh, around the elbow joints, bit of sloppiness unless that's from articulating it and, and it and it some of the paint came off you could see the yellow bleeding onto the blue right there same with on this side as well so definitely not the cleanest paint the gauntlet pieces look okay the paint is sloppy though there's just blue paint smudges and spots all throughout it mainly on the right one not as much on the uh, left one there and the paint very messy around these parts right here the blue and white pieces very very messy paintwork that's really ugly so yeah they definitely need to work on the paint there the belt buckle piece looks all right but horrible sloppy paint man that is horrible come on mcfarlane what are you doing even on this piece here which kind of looks like his symbol and it's off centered also so definitely not great right here looks so bad Oh man, that looks really bad. Whoever painted these are, is really bad at painting. And he has a yellow speck of paint on his butt there. Now for the thighs here, the muscle definition looks great. And the paint's pretty good on these pieces. But it's like they mi missed an extra layer of red paint. As you can see right there where it meets the white. It's a little darker where it meets the white. Where it meets the blue, it's not as dark, you know what I mean? Like, it looks more red where it meets the white than where it meets the blue. It's not as red. And you can see, like, paint rub or uh, plastic rub on the thighs right there from articulation. So you do have to be careful of that. The knee joints look pretty good. And then the boots here look all right. This boot looks better than this boot here. This one has a little bit of sloppy paint work. And then the feet turned out pretty good there. And then the bottom of them, not too much going on. So overall, the paint... 
really needs to be worked on because there's a lot of sloppiness going on there with the paint, paint bleeding, paint smudging, paint rubs. So that is definitely the biggest issue with this All Might figure. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, and this is also a big disappointing factor to this figure line from McFarlane. We really don't get any accessories with this All Might figure. I mean, you guys could at least included another head sculpt or something like that with a different facial expression. You know what I mean? Maybe like a yelling, screaming type head sculpt, or maybe another set of alternate hands as well. You know what I mean? But what we do get, we do get... A basic McFarlane toy stand here it just says my hero academia on it and we do have the peg right there because we do have a peg hole on the bottom right foot on these figures so we do get that and then we do get the four interchangeable hands then starting on the right here we do get a pair of fists of course which do come on the figure out of the packaging then we do get a pair of regular open type hands and the sculpt detail on these hands are fantastic McFarlane did a, a, an excellent job with the sculpt work the paint though you can see a bunch of blue paint spots all throughout the skin tone there which is really odd and it looks like there's some yellow over here as well so I don't know why there's different color paint on the hands here and I definitely would have liked if they included like another type of open hands like he's about to punch in his hand is just posed a certain way instead of just having a resting hand there you know what I mean but they are very simple to swap out and that is always a good thing but anyway that is all the accessories included with all my doll let's keep moving on with the rest of the review shall we now for the height of the number one hero to the very top of his head it looks like he stands about seven inches tall and to the very top of his hair he's a little bit over seven and a half inches tall Area is compared to the McFarlane Toys Fortnite Drift, the McFarlane Toys My Hero Shigaraki, the NECA Ultimate Edition Jungle Hunter, and the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Thanos. And as you can see, he definitely is a 7 inch scale figure. As you can see, he is sh shorter than a basic NECA Predator. And then here he is compared to the Mafex Justice League Superman, the SH Figure Arts Jiraiya Android 16, and the Dragon Ball Super Fall Power Super Saiyan Broly. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectible Smoke, the SH Figure Arts Sage Mode Naruto, the Mafex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku, and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. Now for all of my dolls articulation, he does have some pretty good movement. We do get the same type of movement we got with the Fortnite figure, so definitely happy about that. So we do have two joints at the neck. The lower neck joint you cannot see because of his collar right there, but with both joints, you can get all made to look down about that much. Both joints looks up about that much you do get pivot at the lower neck and at the upper neck there and then it does swivel as well so you do get some pretty good movement at both those neck joints right there and we do get a point of articulation at the torso and at the waist you have to be careful of paint rub i'm just gonna say it once be careful of paint rub articulating this figure because i could say it with every point of articulation uh, so the torso here doesn't really go forward too much it doesn't really go back it like springs back when I try to bring it back but you just get a little bit of forward and back movement there a little bit of pivot and then you do get swivel look at that paint rub or plastic rub then the waist here a little bit better forward and back movement so with both joints I'll make and crunch forward that much and goes back about that much and I don't know why they didn't keep painting up on the red right there a bit odd a little bit better pivot at the waist and then you do get swivel at the waist as well now for the arms here you get a little bit of a circular motion at the shoulder right there and the arms do go out to the sides a little more than 90 degrees they do go up and down we do have the true bicep swivel we only get single jointed elbows and they bend in about 90 degrees so that's a, that's all right would have preferred double jointed but i guess he couldn't Work them in. Then we do have a ball hinge on the wrist, so it does swivel and hinges back and forth. And it's kind of like a ratchet joint. Same with on the elbows. Now the legs here, the crotch piece is a softer, rubbery type plastic, but it's still going to cause like paint rub or plastic rub 
uh, but he can kick forward about 90 degrees. Goes to the back, look at that, the white paint's rubbing right off right there. Goes back just a tiny bit, let's see if he can... Jean-Claude Van Dammit, and he actually can, so nice uh, outward leg movement there. Uh, we get a little bit of a hip swell. We do have double jointed knees that do bend back pretty much all the way. Then for the ankles, we do have a ball hinge, so it does swivel. Hinges up pretty well. Hinges down decently, and then... Come on! I mean, if you move the joint around, you can get a 90 degree bend ankle pivot. So really nice ankle movement with all my... And then we do have a nice toe hinge. So overall, the articulation is really well done on this figure. But as I mentioned, the more you articulate it, the more you are going to cause pain rubs. So just be cautious of that. But you're going to be able to get them in some pretty cool all my light poses. And I'm about to show you some of them right about now. But anyway, that is my review of the McFarlane Toys My Hero Academia All Might. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure with detail, I'd have to give it an even 7. Articulation, I'd give it an even 8. Accessories, I'd give it a 6.5. And the overall quality, I would give a 7.5. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, I did find mine at my local GameStop, so you could check your local GameStop. Ageless Geeks, I'm not sure if they're going to be getting these figures, but you can get your other figures and collectibles from agelessgeeks.com. If you can't find something on their website, I I do highly recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. Today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys, My Hero Academia, all night, all night. <laughs> Daredevil 19 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai. <laughs> Let's get this figure up to take. Let's get the McFarlane Toys. The McFarlane Toys. Damn it, I did it again and forgot what to say. Shigaraki, the NECA original. That's not the original movie team in T. Ninja Turtles. The McFarlane Toys My Hero Shigaraki. Shigaraki. I always feel like I'm saying his name wrong. Damn you. I was probably saying it right. The SH Figure Arts Jiraiya Android 16 and the Chibidi Chibidi Budiba. Faces or head sculpts or something like that, but I mean it is. Uh, yeah.